My name is Tim Ria, host of Digital Health Live here at the International CES, sponsored by WebMD. I'm super excited to have Kevin Maney. He's with Newsweek. You might have heard of him. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Tim. Good to be here. Yeah. So uh, how's, how's CES? Uh, well, I, I actually have had a hiatus from CES for about six years after going for like a decade straight. So it's been really interesting to get back here and see on one hand, nothing has changed. It's still the same craziness that it always has. But um, there's also a lot of, you know, uh, well, for the big thing is, is the, this whole digital health aspect of it was never, you know, was never here before. Just had nothing to do with CES before. And now to see what, um, you know, the, the liveliness of that, of that room and all the things that's there, it, you know, really just tells you something about how fast this is all happening. Yeah, Robin Rask and Jill Gilbert, the whole Living Digital Times team, have supernova the whole space. Yeah, right, exactly. So, what is your background? I'm sorry, what is what? Uh, what is your background? My background? Well, I mean, I've been a technology journalist for 25 years. Um, I was with USA Today for a really long time, and then a couple of different magazines, and, uh, and now with Newsweek um, as a columnist. But I also have written half dozen books in the space and uh, do TV and radio and all, everything in between. So topic on stage was? Topic on stage was, uh, I mean, digital health and where it's going and, um, and basically a consumer focused aspect of it is what this means to individuals as we kind of go forward and our lives change and our relationships with doctors change, our relationships with drugs change, things like that. So, um, was there anything on stage you wanted to expand upon with? Well, we, we, we did a, a pretty good job of hitting on most of it. Um, there's one, one, one topic we hit on lightly that I just think is absolutely fascinating is this idea that, um, that pharmaceutical companies will increasingly probably show up here at CES because what we're going to start seeing is that that prescription for a pill comes with a prescription for an app that goes yeah, with the yeah. pill. Um, we had well Doc here two years ago at the summer summit they were the first one to create an app software that could be prescribed and get reimbursed by insurance yeah yeah and and i think that's going to be what is going to happen with every prescription uh, because um you know right as a way to find out not only if the pill is being effective because if the, if the app can track things like your heart rate and all that and you're taking a heart pill of course you know it'll have some idea but also even just knowing whether you're taking the pills because a lot of people don't. Yeah, it's Proteus Digital Health innovating in that space. Right. Um, so there's, there's actually a lot. There's a lot going on that hasn't yet shown up here um, that I bet that in the next year or two is going to be a big part of what we see on the floor. So as a writer, you're always working on new things. What's your latest project? Uh, I have a, a, a book that's a few months sort of into the research phase of it, um, being published in 2016 by Harper Business. And I'm collaborating with some Silicon Valley guys, these guys who are, um, have a small three-person firm called Play Bigger, which um, uh, helps companies figure out where they fit in the world and how um, to uh, position themselves compared in, in the market and create new categories. So it's, if, you, if you think about the Airbnbs and the Ubers of the world, they've all invented a category of service or product that didn't exist before and then defined it and developed it. And um, so we're looking at companies that have done that and trying to figure out what's in common among all of those and, and try to do a, a, you know, a book about how to do that. Uh, CS is always kind of a showing a trend line for innovation that's coming up in 2015, 2016. What have you kind of seen in the past? What are you seeing today? And what do you kind of see in the future to show everybody here what's coming up? Hmm. Um, I, I mean, the bigger picture is just is just networked everything. Um, you know, we I can remember, you know, speaking of not having been here for a while, you go back to 2006, 2007, and you're just starting to see things pop up like TVs that could connect to the internet on their own, you know, yeah. and, uh, and now, of course you go, everything is connected to the network, um, is, you know, wearable device. I mean, like the, one of the more surprising things is to see Swarovski out here as a, as a, um, company that has a booth doing, you know, um, activity tracking jewelry. And so increasingly everything in our lives, everything that we touch is just going to be connected in some way. And, and, you know, that's, that's the biggest trend that's going to be happening at this show in the next few years. So how do the rest of the folks here tap into your network and follow you on Twitter, your website? Uh, you can, in my, you can follow me. Uh, on, on Twitter, it's at kmaney. I have a website that's kevinmaney.com. You can go to Newsweek and see all the columns that uh, I've written on Newsweek. Those are the best ways. So that's Maney, M-A-N-E-Y. 
And that's uh, Kevin Maney. Thanks for being on the show. Well, great, Tim. Thank you. Bye.